Hello chaps, it's been one of them mornings today. Yeah, we'll give you a clue as to what's happened. It is Dominic's 10th birthday, bless him. 10 years old. 10 friggin' years old. So I imagine that this evening will be filled with family and whatever Dom wants, he'll get his own way I'm sure. And it's also Gemma's birthday on the weekend, so I've got to rush down to the unit because I've ordered a, a fantastic gift which should be delivered before 11 o'clock today. So I have to make sure that I'm there to receive it and that we don't miss the delivery, so let's shoot off now. Well we're not short of jobs this morning, I'll tell you that much, and one of them involves emptying that tank out right there and waiting for the delivery man hopefully they'll come sooner rather than later there's lots of things I can be getting on with and I need to go up to the post office and collect a parcel that was delivered home yesterday I think it's the new glycol pump for that chiller so I'm not that desperate for it really and I've also got lots more to do on the BMS system. Print out the invoices, get everything set up. You know, I'm not gonna go through it all again. Probably bored you to death with it yesterday. So let's video some actual graft. recirculating around the fermenter now it's empty uh, I've shut the doors behind you quick swizzle show you the skills and they're pretty much drowning out they're pretty much drowning out most of the noise from the radio and the cask wash so I've come into the workshop because we have obviously keg and cask being delivered imminently and of course we can make uh, we can wash make we can wash casks no problem but when it when it comes to keg washing well we basically have to take them apart and wash them by hand I don't want to be removing spears all the time it's not uh, something that I want to get involved in doing particularly if these kegs have little sort of uh, what do you call them at the circlips on the top of the spears so I don't want to be prattling about with them constantly so I've got a bunch of fittings that was kindly donated to the cause by Matt Francis from Keg Kingdom cheers buddy still got your helmet and uh, from Andy at GC supplies or GC stainless so these guys have really helped me out quite a lot in terms of fittings like this so what I'm going to do today is take a few of the odds and ends that we've got, because quite a few of them were random bits and bobs, and we're going to put together a keg washing adapter. Now the only thing I've had to buy is this Sankey keg fitting. 
So if I just come in a little bit, I'll be able to show you exactly what this bad boy is. It goes on top of the keg, you give it a twist and you engage and then you've got beer coming in and out of your keg. Should be simple enough for you to understand. So in order for us to modify this we're going to have to remove a few items. First we're not going to have gas in anymore, that's going to be actually the drain, that's going to be cleaner out. So we have to remove the gas connector, the half inch to 3 8 BSP connector and remove this little non-return duckbill kind of thing here. And the same on the top, this is going to be our cleaner in, we're going to put cleaner in where the beer comes out. So we have to remove that 3 8 to half inch BSP. And then on the inside of here, you have a little retaining ring, and that retaining ring holds in the equivalent of the duckbill on the gas side, this little non-return plunger to prevent beer flying out at you. Uh, now, to prevent you pushing beer back in, that's correct. So once we've got those off, that's pretty much all we need to do in terms of removing things from this. Basic functions are going to be, we want to connect the keg upside down to the adapter and we're going to have two hoses coming off of here. One of the hoses is just going to go straight down the drain and that's going to come off the gas in. And then the other hose is going to come out and it's going to split using this four way adapter that was sent to me by Matt at Keg Kingdom. So if you need one of these, that's where you've got to go. I think they probably do them at GC as well, but Matt sent me this so he gets the plug. And then off that, we're going to go two different directions. One way we're going to go and meet the caustic tank, which will be sat with this on top. We have caustic, we have acid, we have water in the middle. We're going to run a hose to the caustic tank. Then we're going to run a hose across the other direction to the acid tank. And then the last hose that's coming out the centre here is going to run to a hose pipe which will be connected to the mains water feed. So what we need to do is assemble the parts so that we can isolate each separate piece of equipment so we're not mixing caustics and acids. You see where we're going now? So we're going to have one, effectively, caustic, acid, keg, and water. Anyway, I'll put it together and we'll come back and have a look and we'll see how viable this actually is. I think it's going to work good. Does that look then folks? Does that uh, does that hit the spot? I reckon we're gonna be able to clean kegs with this contraption. I think we will. It seems to be good enough for me. So we connect the mains water in here, caustic and acid on these two, and then a little short piece of pipe to connect to the keg for the main reason that we can keep the keg mobile with the adapters on and flush and clean. I can see this working a treat and being a bit bonza like pet. Oh yes. So maybe we could just do with quick release on these but if I just pop a, a, a male pop a male cam lock on there so we go from hose to cam lock, that shouldn't be an issue either. I've also got some hose coming. So I've also ordered some hose for this. Um, it's off eBay. It's 
uh, what's it called now? It's heavy duty, uh, 20 bar rated, rubber uh, FCA and EC approved, food grade use approved up to 70 degrees C. So it's not the kind of hose you want to be using for uh, recirculating beer or anything like that, but for cleaning caustic and because it's got high 20 bar burst pressure, I'll show you when it arrives, but I think it'll do the job for hooking this contraption up to our cask washer and converting it into a frigging keg washer. What do you reckon to that? It's almost like uh, the space station, isn't it? Exciting news. Gemma's birthday present has arrived. Let's get it unpacked and taken up to the house. Gemma's birthday present dropped off. We just need to uh, go and get some tools now and hook it up. It turns out that this has just got a cold feed, not a cold and a hot, so uh, I'm going to have to remove remove one of the supply lines to it before we slam it in the corner and put a nice little pink bow on it for Gemma's birthday. Bit of a strange place to end the vlog today, folks. So it is uh, Dominic's 10th birthday today. So he's in there with his grandma, his granny, his uncle Stuart, his two uncles on his, on his mum's side, and yeah, uh, Abigail, Sarah's been wrapped. Right. Chaos. That the look, chaos. This week's flown by, and I've spent most of it sat in front of a computer. So, uh, and then of course, for Gemma's birthday over the weekend, we're probably going to have the weekend off the vlogs because I'm thinking about taking her to the coast. Might be able to pop an upload on here or there, but we'll see. It's definitely not going to be anything super duper interesting in terms of brewing. It's just going to be family life. So me, the kids and Gem will be involved if anything goes online. So if that's what you like, stick around for it, thumb it up. And uh, if not, well, we'll see you for normal service. Uh, well... A little bit tomorrow, and then it'll be Tuesday, I imagine. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Waffling again, aren't I?